All right, let's try this one more time. <laughs> this is only the third time I've had to do this. Okay, so before we went on our cruise, I purchased Leo and I both a travel document holder. Um, we would put our boarding pass, our um, passports, our plane tickets. Um, we would put um, our spending money was in these as well. It was just an easy way to organize the suitcase or like the travel bag I took on the plane so that when uh, it came time to do whatever, either switch planes or go get into our hotel room or whatever, I knew exactly where to find all of my documents instead of pulling apart my suitcase to find them or my travel bag. Um, so when you book a cruise, you have the option to do a few purchases beforehand. So I purchased um, a little gift bag for myself. Um, it was $19.99. It came with this bag. So when we got into our room, there was a nice huge white carnival bag, which was super cute. And inside of it, it had this carnival beach bag. Um, it had a water bottle, which we would fill up and stick in our mini fridge in our room. So that way we always had super cold water because we found the water. I don't know if it was just our cabin, but we found the water to not really get cold enough. Maybe we're just kind of spoiled and we like ice cold water. I don't know. Um, so that was what we used that for. We also got a beach towel, which we had planned to take on and off the ship with us. But we actually didn't take any towels with us when we went. Um, we don't want to have to carry around a huge bag. Like I said in my last video, I took this purse was my crossbody bag, which fits my passport holder or my document holder, and my sand and all the little trinkets that we purchased. Um, so it definitely was not big enough for a beach towel. But it was so hot and sunny and gorgeous out that we pretty much dried off within I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, like we weren't soaking wet the whole time, so we never took towels. You can take the um, towels from the ship on and off with you, but if you don't take it back to your room, they can charge you for that towel, so if you just dropped it off um, as you come in, like I would make sure to take it back to your room with you, so then that way your room stewardess, they can um, mark off that you did bring it back or that they replaced it and that there was the towel in there when they got there. We also got these little guys here too. We didn't open them. We just thought they were kind of neat. And I'm not sure if I told you the cost of that bag, but it was $19.99 US to get all those items plus a waterproof cell phone um, case. It was like the bag that you have the string you put around your neck, uh, which I used the entire trip as well. So yeah, it was $19.99. But to purchase these items, which you can do when you get on, you can purchase them individually. So. For the camera bag, it was $24.99 in the Pixel Gallery. So right there we saved $5 and that's only one item. Like, And you can buy the towels. Um, you can actually purchase the towels that are in your room. They're big blue towels. They're kind of nice too, but we have this one so we didn't need to. Um, you can also purchase uh, the bathrobes that they give you. Um, yeah. So at each place, we always collect magnets. So as we traveled down, we picked up a magnet in Winnipeg, in Toronto, in Fort Lauderdale, and in Miami. So that's all of these. I'll focus on it. So that was our Winnipeg magnet. And Fort Lauderdale. And Toronto. Miami Beach, which we like this one. Uh, we picked up a uh, magnet the last time we went in Miami as well, but we like this one because we actually get to spend a little bit of time on the beach and it has the beach in it and it has a cruise ship, so it kind of went with what we were doing down there. Um, so we went to Grand Cayman first. We had one day at sea and then Monday we stopped in Grand Cayman. And in Grand Cayman we did Stingray City. So of course we picked up a magnet that has stingrays on it. It says Stingray City. It was six dollars US. Um, and then we went to the turtle farm and we picked up a magnet from there as well. Um, and because I love turtles so much I actually picked this little guy up as well. A little souvenir for the shelf. 
and I think he was about ten dollars. Um, after that, we went to Roatan, which is part of Honduras, and we picked up a magnet there. It says Roatan at the top. We went to Mahogany Bay. Um, then we went to Belize, and we picked up one that says Belize on it. Um, I also got my hair braided. Half of my hair is actually this side. So I got four braids put in my hair while we were there. Um, it was $15 US to have her do that. It was kind of neat. Um, in Cozumel, we picked up two magnets. So we picked this one up because it has the dolphin on it. And then it says Cozumel in the green part here, but it also has a bunch of other places written on it. So we wanted to pick up one that just had Cozumel on it. So we picked up a Carnival beat or a Carnival ship, sorry, that says Car uh, Cozumel. So we picked up two from there. Um, we also picked up this little trinket in Cozumel. Yep. Again, this was like two dollars, something to put on the shelf with the sand and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I brought home two flutes for my niece and nephew. I brought home this cool little skull trinket for my sister because she likes skulls. And we picked up a shot glass for Ross because we figure he might need that after the kids play with the flutes. <laughs> we also picked up a shot glass for us. We're not big drinkers in this house, but it was two dollars. It had some turtles on it. It was kind of bright colored, so we thought, hmm, may as well pick something else up for the shelf as well. Um, for the people who helped us while we were away, so. We had a buddy of Leo's stay at our house while we were away to take care of our two dogs that we have. So we actually found this little bottle of tequila and it came with two shot glasses and it came with a little sombrero hat. So it was all wrapped in this plastic so we brought that home for him. Um, we brought home my mom and Grandma Mel, we brought them home scarves from Cozumel. Um, my mom's was blue and Melanie's was red. Um, I think they had some flowers on them and stuff. You can get ones that say Cozumel on them or Mexico or whatever. But for them, I felt that they wouldn't really care if it said Cozumel on it. So I thought I may as well get one that doesn't so that they can wear it all the time and nobody will be like, Oh, when did you go? <laughs> so we picked those up for them. And then I got myself two scarves. I got a blue one and a yellow one. They're both the same pattern, just different colors. And they have turtles all over them and doesn't say Cozumel or anything on it. Um, I picked those up just for myself. Um, Leo likes to pick up cigars wherever we go. So he picked up some in each stop. That was one thing that he wanted to purchase for himself. So he picked those up and he got some extra ones for uh, Grandpa Mark and Grandpa Gib. Um, Melanie and uh, Gib helped us with the boys when we first left. They came and stayed overnight at our house. They got um, my stepson to daycare Monday, they got my son to school, and then my mom looked after my son while we were away. We didn't have Leo's son at the time, so we didn't have to worry about his schedule. So my mom had him uh, from Monday to Sunday and she brought him home and she kind of looked at all of our little trinkets that we got when we first got home. Um, yeah, so in my last video I kind of talked about this DI Diamond International um, bracelet and um, charms. So this is the bracelet that you get. It says DI on it. It's kind of cute. And then you get a whole bunch of little charms. So the charms that whoop, <laughs> the charms that we got at each stop. I'll pull them out first. Uh, yeah, it would be just three. So in Mexico, we got this little guy. But again, in Mexico, they if you want to pay for it, you can. You pay five dollars U.S. and then they send you to. They give you a little map, and it's got a few other places on it. So then we picked up a little horseshoe, a, a seahorse. I don't know if you can really see it. <laughs> um, what's the other one? Oh, a clock. So we picked up a little clock too. So Leo and I both got them, so we have a few extras in here that I'm just going to 
put it on a little chain and wrap it around the neck of the uh, jar of sand and it'll just hang off of that. And then when we went to Cozumel and swam with the dolphins, as you're leaving there's a bunch of little shops that you can kind of pop into. There were some really cool rings in there that you'd, inside they looked green and then when you walked outside they turned pink, they were kind of cool. Anyway, you could get a free charm which is a little dolphin. So I thought, well that's perfect, that'll go good with my uh, bracelet. So yeah, so then there's the pyramid that we got in, now where was it, Belize I think. And then in Roatan we picked up the little uh, scuba or the snorkel gear. So yeah, we got a whole bunch of little goodies there. Now on the ship, they're always giving away stuff or have some things that you can purchase. The shirt that I'm wearing I actually purchased on our first uh, trip. The final day at sea they actually had a sale where you could purchase two shirts for 20 bucks. So Leo and I actually got matching shirts and I made him wear it home. So we were traveling through the airport wearing matching shirts. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. I'm sure he was quite embarrassed, but oh well. Um, so yeah, I still wear this one lots and they were giving away these little uh, necklace packets so you can upgrade, you can pay $10 and you can get some earrings and stuff like that but I don't wear a lot of earrings, I don't really wear necklaces all that often so um, I don't really worry about it. Um, the box that this is actually in, I purchased a watch. Um, a watch from the ship. So they have different things on happening on days at sea. So you can go and purchase shirts. They do like little one hour, two hour sales where they do um, uh, island shirt sales. So you can get two shirts for 20 bucks or $15 a shirt or something and it might say Grand Cayman or Belize or wherever the stops are they have those shirts available for you. Um, but they had a watch sale so they had two for 30 so their regular 64 sorry their regular 64 dollars um, each but you at this one time for this one hour you could go and purchase two of them for 30 dollars so Leo got himself a watch and I got a watch as well um, another thing with carnival you do get those fun times like I said in my last video but you can also purchase an app purchase you get a free app you don't have to purchase it and it has all of the stuff that's happening um, you can click the little hearts and put them all into a different spot so that you can see what you wanted to do for the day um, it sends you a reminder 15 minutes before saying don't forget comedy lounge so and so whatever um, you can track your spending that way as well what else can you do on that app um, yeah, so it's called the Carnival Hub app. I'll see if I can pull it up quick so you can see it. If it'll load up. Oh. Anyways, it's giving me a bunch of little notifications. So when you go to get on, I don't know if you can really see it. So yeah, when you go to get on, you can say you're already on board and it asks you to then put your phone in airplane mode and all that kind of stuff. I guess you can also enter your booking number so that you can see stuff ahead of time as well. Um, it offers a little countdown so then you can click on it and it'll say four days, five hours and 25 minutes until your uh, cruise. Um, also what you can do if you were to go with a large party you can all download the app and I think you have to pay five dollars to access the chat but then you're able to chat with everybody that is on the ship because um, the Wi-Fi is not all that great. They do have some. You can purchase the packages. I know I did. I purchased the social package which gave me um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, and the WhatsApp. So that's how I talk to my mom at home. We use the WhatsApp. Um, but yeah, so then you use those few things. You can't do email, you can't do the internet or anything. They do have some computers that you can pay by the hour and use. Um, what else? Uh, 
what else am I missing? I'm sure I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff because after I stopped recording last time, I remembered, oh, I forgot to say this and this and this. So I'll probably do that again and there'll be another video coming up. Um, but yeah, you can make it as cheap or as expensive as you want. Like we always purchase an indoor cabin or an indoor, uh, inside cabin because we don't plan on spending a lot of time in the cabins anyways. Um, there's no window or anything like that. You can't see the light and all that kind of stuff. But we were only in there from about 10 or 11 at night until like 6 in the morning when we go down for breakfast. Um, so to us, spending a pile of money to have a view wasn't really a necessity. We would rather spend money on excursions or spending cash or whatever. Um, but there's different options so you can have just a window in your cabin and you pay a couple hundred dollars per person extra or you can have a balcony and you pay a few more hundred dollars or you can have a suite and you can pay like what it would cost for two people to go on an inside cabin um, just for one person so you can really make it as expensive or as cheap as you can now want um, you can purchase um, a bubbly package which is your soda pop so then you don't have to pay for soda you can purchase an alcohol package um, the drink package which I talked about in the last video or what we did is we just drank what they had available what was included so coffee hot chocolate um, iced tea water lemonade the lemonade is fantastic I don't think I've ever had lemonade that was that great um, Again, food's all included. You can pay for extra stuff, like you can order a steak and lobster uh, in the restaurant and you pay for that stuff. I think it's about $20 each. Yeah, $20 each. Um, or you order what's on their menu and their menus have stuff like salmon. Um, they have a smaller steak available. They have, um, what did Leo get? Um, mussels and shrimp and like a whole pile of stuff. So you don't have to spend the extra money and order all that kind of stuff if you don't want to. Um, we tried to keep it as cheap as possible and still have lots of fun, which we were able to do. You can purchase an alcoholic beverage or pop, like you can still get Coke or you can still get Sprite or whatever it is that you want, or you still get a beer and you just pay for it with your signed sale card. Um, the alcohol package gives you 15 drinks a day, so if you are a big drinker, then you're gonna blow right through that. Um, but for us, we don't drink that much, so we, I think maybe we had one drink each the whole time. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, when you're booking, I just found this out as well, so this is what we'll be doing for our next cruise, which I'm hoping is in August. Um, you can actually pay your down payment. So the farther away, the less your down payment has to be. So the one I want to go on, I think, is about $500 you put down. And then they take monthly payments. So I think it's about $177 a month for two people. Um, so I just pay $177 per month for five or six months leading up to the cruise instead of paying the whole lump sum at one time. So that's an, another way you could... Uh, travel as well as to kind of break up the payments um, yeah there's lots of cool things on the website so if you take a look you can cruise out of different locations you can we like to do the Caribbean cruises because they're nice and hot and being in Canada it's not so hot up here so that's something that interests us whereas you can do like Alaskan cruises you can cruise and go to like New York and Halifax and stuff like that um, you can cruise out of California, you can cruise out of Mexico, you can cruise, I know there's one from um, Puerto Rico or something like that that you can go on. It's like eight days, which I have my eye on that one too, but we'll see. Um, yeah, there's lots of stuff that you can do if you're willing to just kind of spend some time, do some research, you know, save some money and yeah. Travel, travel, travel. Once you go, it's very, very hard to not want to continue to go. We went on one in January, and again we went in November, and now I can't wait, and I want to plan one to go in August. So once you start cruising, you don't want to stop. 
But yeah, I think that's it for this video. I could probably ramble on and on and on. But I won't bore you. Um, I'll put together another few videos on different things. Maybe I'll do a walkthrough of how we book our next cruise. Um, yeah. Hopefully you guys will enjoy these videos and subscribe and leave me any comments, ask me any questions, and I'll be sure to answer them in my upcoming videos. Bye guys!